so hi everyone welcome back to placements ready in this video we will be solving the problem leaf under budget which is a tree plus a greedy algorithm problem so this question has also been asked in oracle so do watch the video very carefully and stay till the end of the video so let's read the problem statement out so we are given a binary tree and a budget assume you are at the root of the tree okay so the root of the tree is at level one you need to maximize the count of leaf nodes you can visit in your budget if the cost of visiting a leaf node is equal to the level of that leaf node so the basically the cost is get equal to the level okay now if you see here 10 is at level 1 8 is at level 2 2 is again at level 2 3 3 6 is at level 3 and 4 is at level 4 okay and my budget is going to be 8 so if you see here the leaf nodes are 3 4 and 6 so 3 and 6 are present at level 3 and 4 is present at level 4 so now cost of visiting leaf node 3 is going to be 3 similarly cost of visiting this 4 is going to be 4 and again cost of visiting this 6 is going to be 3 but at max you can take only two leaf nodes because 3 plus 4 is going to be 7 again if you take consider these two the budget is going to be 7 okay which is less than our given budget okay and if you take this 3 and 3 the budget is going to be 6 which is again less than this budget okay but as soon as you take the third node you, you will exceed the budget so you can't take that third node so at max you can take only two nodes so our output is going to be two okay the expected space and time complexity for this is going to be order of n okay where n is the number of nodes so i hope you have understood the problem let's discuss the problem in more detail so here as you can observe this is these are the nodes at level one these are the nodes at level two these are the nodes at level 3 and these are the nodes at level 4 okay we will be taking the help of recursion here basically we will push 10 with the level 1 and we will also be passing a leaf vector okay which will be storing the level of the leaf nodes okay initially it will be empty so let's say this is my leaf vector okay now what we will do since 10 has a left child 10 has a right child so 10 is not a leaf node basically a leaf node is a node which has no children okay now since we have a left child for 10 we will push that in our recursion so it will be pushed with a level 1 because whenever you go to a child you will increment the level okay you will also push 2 with a level 2 and leaf. Now, for 8, as you can observe, it has a left child. So, what we will do? We will push 3 with a level 3 inside the recursion stack. It has no right child, so we don't need to do anything. Again, for 2, 3 and 6 will be pushed. now for 3 3 has a right child okay so we will be pushing it with a level 4 now so this is how our recursion stack space will look like now while doing the recursion you can observe like 3 has no left 3 has no right so 3 is going to be my leaf node okay so we will push the level of 3 inside my leaf vector so this will be pushed like this again for 4 you will observe it is a leaf node so we can push the level of 4 and for 6 we can again push the level of 6 which is going to be nothing but 3 so here what we need to do we need to maximize the count of nodes so first of all we will be sorting it okay so that is only the greedy approach required here basically we will be sorting the nodes so that we can accommodate maximum number of nodes inside my budget so my budget is going to be 8 so first of all we will take this 3 but before taking this 3 we have to check whether we can take this 3 or not so let's say for that let's say my current sum is going to be 0 initially and my count is also going to be initially 0 we can check if current plus this 
node let's say array of i is less than my budget or less than equal to because then also you can take that so my current will be first of all updated with the array of i value and my count will be incremented if at some point of time you are not able to satisfy this means you have already taken maximum number of nodes possible and then and in that case we can simply break out okay so what will be the time complexity so the time complexity for this is going to be the maximum number of nodes that is getting processed at one point of time so that is nothing but order of n and the space complexity is also going to be order of n okay because that number of nodes can exist in the stack space at one point of time for trees generally the worst case time complexity is calculated with the help of a skewed tree okay so skew tree is a tree which has only a child in a particular direction for example for this tree we are having one child which is a right child again this right child is going to be have a is going to have a right child and this will continue okay so this is a skew tree so generally the worst case time complexity for tree problems are calculated keeping in mind the scenario of a skew tree okay so i hope you have understood the problem let's discuss the code so first of all what we will be doing we will be taking a leaf vector we will call the get leaf nodes level okay function so we will be passing a root the level of the root and the leaf vector okay now what this function is doing doing here is that basically if the root is going to be null we will simply return okay no need to do anything if there is no left child for the root there is no right child for the root that means it is a leaf node we will be pushing the level of that leaf node into our leaf vector okay and if the left child of the root exists we will call the recursion for the left child my level will be increased by 1 and we will pass the leaf vector as it is similarly for the right what we can do we can again call this function and with the root arrow right and the level will be again incremented and we will pass the leaf once you get all the le leaf nodes level we will be sorting out the vector in order to accommodate maximum number of nodes and my count is going to be zero initially my current sum is going to be initially zero we will check whether we can take the current leaf node or not if we can take we can increment the count we can add that leaf nodes level to my current sum otherwise we can simply break out and in the end we can return the count so that much number of nodes was possible to take so i hope you have understood the problem you have understood the explanation as well as the code so if you have any doubts do write it down in the comments and do like this video share among your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching guys let's meet in another video where we will be solving an interesting problem on problem of the day